I mined a hundred million obsidian and made billions from it. I will cover my entire journey, how I did it and how you can do it too. Also, this video literally took me a hundred hours to make, so please subscribe. It all began two weeks ago. I learned how good obsidian mining really is. Unlike armadillo mining, all you need to do with obsidian is go to the end, go to this spot and you are ready to mine. With the max setups, it's possible to make upwards of 40 million coins per hour and 2.3 million mining XP. If I wanted to mine 100 million obsidian, however, I needed to figure out how to instantly mine. You see, the stats in Skyblock take a second to update after swapping to another weapon. This means that by being quick enough, you are able to boost your main drill using the blue cheese omelet on another drill, but you still get the 50 fortune from the sunny side omelet. Using this little trick, you only need to worry about reaching 6000 speed while holding your main drill to be able to instantly Mine. Obsidian mining has one downside however, you don't gain any powder from it. At the time I was just short of a max tree. I could either spend a few days mining mithril or I could spend some coins on goblin eggs. Normally killing a golden goblin gives you 200 mithril powder, but with the use of goblin killer and powder buff perks and the double powder event, this can be increased to up to 1.2 thousand per one. During a single double powder event you can get up to 1 million powder in 15 minutes. However, this method is very expensive. I spent around 300 million coins getting 3 million powder. I was able to max out my efficient miner and get enough speed to insta mine. And with that, I started my journey to mine 100 million obsidian. Around 5 million collection in, I realized how many things I was still missing. While in the end, the ender equipment is actually better than the normal mining equipment. That is because the ancient cloak has 10 base mining fortune the belt is one rarity higher than the ender belt and the glowstone gauntlet can be starred. The necklace is the same. But when we go to the end, the stats of the ender equipment get doubled or tripled in case of the dragon fate cloak. So, now it gives 24 compared to 15. I also changed the topaz gem on my drill to a jade, since pristine doesn't work on obsidian. With those upgrades, I quickly got up to 7 million collection, and that's when I decided I should switch up my pets. I decided that I wanted to buy a golden dragon. After that, I also got refined on my drill to level up pets faster. It is around 1 level per hour. You will see what level it is at the end of this. At around 10 million collection, I got pretty bored and started experimenting with strategies. I got my hands on an racing helmet. Let's see what's better, speed or fortune. So in one ability with the divan helmet, I got nearly 2 stacks of obsidian. Let's now see how much I will get with the racing helmet. Also, I saw a lot of people doing the ability wrong. So just start up the ability everywhere, go like this and you are back. And with the use of the racing helmet I got nearly the exact same amount of obsidian. And remember, I do not have Jade Tree Forge on this racing helmet. This would probably be better in the long term, which is honestly kinda insane. Shout out to Sophia Chan for borrowing the racing helmet. Speaking of the ability, after we run out, you need to wait 96 seconds to use another ability. However, every time you join a lobby, the cooldown gets reset to a minute flat. With this method, you can get up to 13% more obsidian if you just switch lobbies after every ability. Also, if someone is using the ability, instead of mining the floor and stealing blocks from him, just teleport here and mine the wall so you don't steal blocks, or simply go to this side and mine like here and here. At around 30 million collection, I also got compact 10 from breaking a million blocks. Before I even got 50 million collection, I started struggling. I wanted to finish this as fast as possible. That's why I decided I need to cut down the time. I was still missing 35 fortune from my fortune perk. Even though the prices of goblin eggs were insanely high, I spent 75 million to get 500k powder and max out my fortune perk. With that, I finally got the maximum possible fortune. So I'll also teach you how you can warp out using keybinds. So all you have to do is open up sky tools, go to key shortcuts, add a shortcut and for example say warp end and then add a keybind you want it to be binded to, save and exit and now if you press that keybind you'll be warped to the end.
also got 2 mining level 100 pets with XP share, so that's another 20 mil profit. At exactly 50 mil in collection, I wanted to spice things up. So I got 3 of the best obsidian miner to do a race with me. The first person to mine 50 million obsidian gets 100 million of my hard earned money. So I guess we can start. Okay, now this is a strat for people mining in a circle. I can't even mine a block. Everyone went crazy about this race. My goal was to finish mining obsidian as quickly as possible. That's why in 12 hours since we started, I spent nearly 9 hours mining obsidian. But everyone else wasn't slacking off either. Even after 24 hours, I was still first, but this time with less of a lead. After two days, Moltres was in the lead with everyone closely behind. Then something happened. Jerry got elected. Cole hasn't been elected in 28 skyblock years. This means that the three fiestas from Jerry were the first ones we had seen in three and a half months. So not even four days since we began, Moltres won the race with 50 million collection. Then it was me with 36.4 million collection. Then Pogchamp with 25.1 and Mr. Topper with 20.4 million collection. So GG to everyone and I guess I'll give it the money Moltres. Now hold on a second there. I think it'd be best if that money went to some viewers instead. You want to give away? I do. Are you making my voice? I'm just saying. Join my discord link in the description for a hundred million giveaway. Hashtag ad. So the mining fiesta just started and I'm missing like exactly 10 million collection. So after this fiesta I'll be finally done. I cannot wait. Let's get it. Three hundred. And a hundred million obsidian. Fucking finally. You have no idea how long it took. Hundred million obsidian. This is literally so mental. So let me tell you how much money I made. If we go to the bazaar and go to the obsidian, it's it's somewhere around 3000 per one. And if you open my sacks, I have 577,000 enchanted obsidian. After doing the math, that is somewhere around 1.8 billion coins from just the obsidian alone. And I have one other thing. My g drag is currently level 187, which means that for leveling this pet for the entire duration, I made another 400 million coins, to a total of over 2 billion coins from this whole thing. This is mental, this is absolutely mental. So what do we do next? A billion gold collection, all number one in Taros Slayer. Bye bye.